The taxi's gonna be here any minute, and I'm not even packed. Uh, has anyone seen my tie? You're wearing it, Dave. Uh, thanks, Simon. Don't forget your mittens, Dave. It's cold in Europe. Uh, thanks, Theodore. And don't forget your tour book. I'm marking all the great cities you'll want to visit. Uh, great, Simon. Now, let's see. Shirts, pants, overcoat, socks. Am I forgetting anything? Me! Yeah. Alvin, we've been over this a million times. Please, Dave. I need a little culture in my life. The Eiffel Tower, the Sistine Chapel, the Louvre in Rome. The Louvre is in Paris, Alvin. You see? Calvin, for the last time, this is strictly a business trip. It's just not practical. Besides, I've hired someone very good to take care of you while I'm gone. Oh. Did it have to be me? Miss Miller, Dave? Now, come on, fellas. She's a very nice woman. Taxi's here. I'm sure gonna miss you, boys. Hello! Oh. Just a minute! Dave and your jacket! Oh, thanks. And your tickets! Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Alvin. Dear, you'll get to see the world soon enough. Look out on the left, Alvin. You're not going to make it. Oh, faster, Alvin, faster. Go, Alvin. Look out for the... Sphinx. Oh, nuts. Since when does Alvin like playing around the world in 30 days? Since he feels it's as close to a world trip as he'll ever get. Come on, hurry! We have people waiting around the world for five million dollars in diamonds and we can't get anyone to deliver them. What about Ivan? Oh, we've used him too often. Jamal knows his face. <laughs> Sorry, Sophie. We need someone new. Someone Jamal would never suspect. Don't forget, dear brother. Last year, Jamal robbed us of three million dollars worth of priceless, precious, Nadia. gorgeous, spectacular Nadia. to die for Jim. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> Please, not here. Come on, Alvin! Ricky, watch out! Noisy brats! Go, Alvin! <sighs> to the left, Alvin! To the left! Leave me alone! Watch out! The Chabots are winning! I heard that, Theodore! You need to take the shortcut across Fiji, Alvin!
thinking what I'm thinking. Uh, don't be ridiculous. It's too dangerous. The only children. Exactly. Who would suspect them? No, Claudia. It's out of the question. Listen to me, Klaus. If you think I'm going to let you botch up this deal like you did the last one. Must you keep reminding me? I underestimated Jamal. It won't happen again. You bet it won't. We're doing things my way this time. Well, unless you inherit a fortune, Alvin, I guess we'll never know. Excuse us, but we couldn't help overhearing your conversation. We were just wondering which one of you really would win a race around the world. Hmm, I would. Not a chance. I know she could win. Would you like to make a little wager? Why not? I bet a million dollars on this cutie. <laughs> and I bet on this handsome gentleman. A million dollars? You're joking, right? Certainly not. We're quite wealthy and very bored. Allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Klaus Verstein, and this is my sister Claudia. <laughs> and Sophie. And we are the chipmunks. A and these are our friends, the chipettes. <laughs> the chipmunks and chipettes. How adorable! Well, what do you say? Will you consider a little wager? A bet like this would add a little excitement to our lives. Well, I gain. Me too. What? Then it's all set. We'll supply all the necessary provisions for you to race around the world. And the first one back gets one hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars? This is fantastic! Come on, Simon. Help me out. Absolutely not. I refuse to be a part of this deception. Okay, Theodore, it's you and me. We just need Dave to say, Hello, Miss Miller. I want Alvin, Simon, and Theodore to meet me in Europe. Bye-bye. Is the tape recorder ready? I think so. I can't believe you deceived Miss Miller for a package of Tutti Fruity, Theodore. Two packages. What could be better? An all-expense-paid trip around the world and a chance at winning a hundred thousand dollars. Besides, we'll be back before Dave gets home. Do you realize it's three o'clock in the morning where Dave is? Exactly. He'll be putty in my hands. Hello, Dave? Hello, Alvin. Alvin, what is it? Uh, I just missed the sound of your voice. Oh. Uh, so guess who's in the house right now, Dave? I don't know, Alvin. Well, there's me, and Simon, and Theodore, and... Miss Miller? bread. Simon gets the English muffins. Mm. Theodore gets the banana bread, the orange slices, the cereal, the bowl of yogurt, the peanut butter sandwich, the pancakes with gooseberry jelly, the scrambled eggs with toast. I wonder when Dave will call us. Hey! 
A different route. And to make sure you travel completely around the world, both teams must deposit one doll at 12 <coughs> different locations. <coughs> You'll be given the opposing team's doll to verify you were there. The first one back wins $100,000. $100,000? Well, if you insist on going, don't take the easterly route. I heard on the news there's a hurricane coming from that direction. <laughs> Thank you for your advice, Simon. What a liar! He's getting as bad as Alvin! But what if he's telling the truth, Brittany? Oh, Jeanette, don't be so naive. He's just saying that because our route is shorter and he doesn't want us to win. On your marks! <laughs> Please reconsider! Go! Think it's a good idea, Claudia? They'll get the hang of it. Jamal will never suspect them in a million years. <laughs> Yes, the 
warriors have already left. You'll get your diamonds. Mm. You just make sure you fill my dolls with cash. <laughs> Oh, play with her, Klaus. It's not going to kill you. The boys are going to Mexico City. Is someone else on the line? Don't be ridiculous. There's no one here but Klaus and Mario. <laughs> and Sophie. Keep in touch. Oh, what a brilliant idea this was of mine. It's not over yet, Claudia. What could go wrong? Where's my coffee? Pronto. Is a Jamal there? What did you find out? The girl's first stop is a Bermuda, and the boys. <laughs> you lose again, Matt. <laughs> ah! This is one of my Pierre Cardin socks. Oh, Klaus. Mario! Where's my coffee? Coming, Signora. Presto! I've got to go. I'll call you when I get some more information. Well, Sisvan, it looks like you're off to Bermuda, and you, Cuomo, Mexico City. Be 
Hello. Miss Firstin, everything's fine. They've made the drop off right on schedule. Brittany, I really think we should just wait until he comes back up. But who knows when that'll be? Besides, we're losing valuable time. But we've never been scuba diving, and, and who knows what's down there? Relax, Eleanor. The only thing down there is our chipmunk doll. Just remember, the team that wins gets the hundred thousand dollars!
Signora. There's a long distance phone call for you from Europe. Wonderful! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sophie. Hello? The girls have made six drop-offs. Good. And the boys? Wonderful. Good. <laughs> it's a spoiled brat, get wet. <laughs> it's a rug rat, get a little water on her. <laughs> <laughs> Posted. Oh, Sophie! You got fed! Oh, my poor baby! Oh, Klaus, you're so reckless!
they couldn't be. The boys wouldn't. Would they? Come on to my house, my house. I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house, my house. I'm gonna give you apple and a plum and an apricot or two. Oh, cut. Huh? Oh, rats. Come on to my house, my house. Come on. Hello? Uh, hello, Miss Miller. <laughs> oh, David. I'm just calling to see how everything is. Oh, everything is fine. It's quiet as a mouse around here. Alvin's behaving himself? He is? Well, that's good. Uh, could I talk to the boys? Well, I don't see why not. Uh, is Alvin available? Available for what? Uh, to talk. Well, how should I know? Uh, look, Miss Miller, I, I just called to see if everything was all right. Everything's fine, David. Well, give the boys my love. Why don't you give them your love? Well, are they available? Available for what? Never mind. Uh, nice talking to you, Miss Miller. You too, David. And David, get some rest, will you? Oh, that poor man is losing his marbles. Come on to my house, my house. I'm gonna give you fig and a date and a raisin a cake. You imbeciles, I ask you to take candy from a baby and you fail me. I can see I need bigger, tougher men to handle this job. There they are, just as Jamal described them. Come on, let us go. Well, this next drop-off in Egypt should be a snap. from Jamal. I am doing him a favor. And as payment, I keep the girls. Ugh. Dream on, Tiny Tim. Prepare for the engagement ceremony. In ten years, I will make her one of my wives. One of your wives? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but uh, you wouldn't want to marry Brittany. She's, well, she's very 
very difficult. And she's not very tidy. And her cooking is atrocious. And she spends money like a drunken sailor. And, and when she doesn't get her way... That's enough, you guys! The ceremony will take place promptly at dawn. An engagement present from the Sheik, all the way from the South Pole. Have a pleasant night. Oh! A baby penguin! Oh! How cute! Whatever happened to diamonds and rubies? Okay, little fella. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, you miss your mama and papa, huh? <laughs> the poor little thing is homesick. I'm not exactly thrilled to be here myself, Jeanette. We've got to find our dolls and get out of here.
drinks and sandwiches. Oh, Ellie, how can you think of food at a time like this? Okay, let's get a good night's sleep so we can get an early start in the morning. I don't think we should have taken this shortcut. It's too dangerous. Relax, Theodore. This isn't the arcade game. Huh? Brittany, we've got to get this little guy back to Antarctica. 
they'll die if we don't. And how do you propose we do that, Eleanor? Federal Express? No. I thought we could take him. And lose the race? Jeanette, will you please talk some sense into your sister? She's right, Brittany. You're both crazy. I'm sorry, but we're talking about a hundred thousand dollars and... Uh, well, uh... He doesn't look very good, Eleanor. I told you. Well, how do we get to Antarctica? Just one little bite for Auntie Eleanor. He's getting worse. What can we do? He needs his mama, Brittany. She'll know what to do. the jewels and decided to make a break for it. Well, ma'am, we were trying to stop them. We were very, very slippery. I don't want your excuses. I want those dolls. And don't come back without them.
Let's go. Hey, you can tell her. Listen, it's, tell I, her every it's time we turn. get into a come kind what of a problem, you always try to wheeze water. I don't want I don't get it. Why are people willing to kill for these dolls? Because they're so cute. Oh, look at this sweet little babe. Wait a minute. Open a chipmunk doll. 